So what you see before you is a Relic. This is a Dell Inspiron. It has seen some better days. It's got a broken hinge. Heck, even the chassis is cracked. But that's okay, this has been around the world a couple of times. It's even been on an Afghanistan military deployment. So yeah, that's Afghan dirt that you're seeing probably. But you've heard me talk about this before. This is from my brother who is a uh, retired military veteran. And I got basically, it handed to me and was like, hey, it doesn't work anymore, but we've got really important pictures we'd like to get off of here. So can you please save those? And I was like, yes, I can save those. In fact, I'm gonna try and do you one better. I'm gonna try and save the machine. It's not really worth saving, but hey. They can let their uh, they can let their five year old pound away on the keyboard or something. MSI brings ultra thin gaming to life with their new GS65 Stealth. The 4.9 millimeter bezel, 144 hertz, 1080p panel, Nvidia graphics, and 8th gen Intel CPUs make the new GS65 Stealth a true powerhouse with a small footprint. Find out more and how to pre order by following the link in the description below. First and foremost, we have to understand what the problems are. Now this is an old T4400 based Pentium dual core, uh, loosely based upon the Core 2 Duo architecture. But here's what we're dealing with right here. It works, and, and in typical fashion, you know, when, when somebody who's not, you know, really versed in computers hands you a computer with a problem, you go, well, what's wrong with it? They go, it's just not working. And you're like, well, what doesn't work? And they go, well, it doesn't start. Now that could mean maybe the picture isn't coming up, maybe the computer doesn't power on. In our case, it will sit right here loading for the longest time, and then what happens is it basically tells us that we have a corrupt um, boot sector, basically. It just actually gives you a boot error, and like an error code and the whole deal. What I love though is the built-in diagnostics, and let me show you this part, because I feel like I'm playing an old, like a Zork turn-based video game that's all text-based. That sounds like I'm playing an old school game, man. If we go all the way back to like, the, 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 yeah, who remembers? <laughs> who remembers when this was the sound effects you got in games? So what this is basically telling me is that it actually detected an error the last time, the last time it tried to boot. Self-test <laughs> self test log contains previous errors. The given error code and message can be, can be used by Dell technical support to help diagnose a problem. <laughs> All right, we just want to continue. Yes, we're gonna continue. Now it's testing the optical drive. This has an optical drive and a PCM CIA slot. And it was a pretty massive slot. In fact, there it is right there. But yeah, this whole giant car that was about that long would slide into that and so sock it in. And that was actually how you had hot swappable devices in a laptop. What's funny about that now is because everything's just done through either Thunderbolt, USB 3, uh, Type-C, whatever. Oh look, VGA test. Were color bars displayed? Look at that, look at that font. So we can go ahead and abort this. But I just thought that was an interesting little piece of information to show you that this had actually a built-in diagnostic and it did catch the error. The error I caught was actually just previously a logged error saying Windows wouldn't boot. Now this was updated to Windows 10. Thank God he actually participated in the free Windows upgrade because had this been an old Windows Vista machine or God forbid a Windows ME, which I highly doubt, I think this was initially an XP machine. I think, I could be wrong. I don't have boot drives or boot disks for any of those operating systems. Sure, I could easily go online and get it, but because this is Windows 10, we might actually have a chance of recovering it through my Windows 10 disk right here. So we're gonna try this first. See, this is why I say, look, it's on Windows 10. Here's the problem. It'll sit here on preparing automatic repair forever. It does not move from this point. A Couple of things this could mean. One, it could just be a corrupted sector of the hard drive that destroyed the bootloader. Or it could be a, a bad hard drive altogether. I don't know. So yeah, we just need to make sure Windows doesn't automatically wipe itself, which it can do. Wubba, wubba, wubba. <laughs> wubba, 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 wubba. Is it gonna boot off this? <gasps> we don't want setup though, we want repair. Cause if I do setup, that's gonna, that's gonna screw us cause it will wipe the drive, so. Windows setup 64 bit, we're gonna tell it to repair. If it can't repair, then, um, then we'll do it, then we'll do it the, the easy way. Take the drive out, offload the pictures, and then go from there. 
So we've been sitting here for a while and it's just not actually loading. I mean, we have a cursor. It's not actually loading a menu. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and play it safe. And we are going to shut this down. We're gonna open it up, take the hard drive out, use one of my hot swap sleds from my Atomos, which is just a SATA two and a half inch drive thing. And then we are going to recover the data, make sure that's nice and safe. And then we'll see if we can get this working again. But that is a secondary mission objective primary mission objective is to save the pictures. Otherwise, then you're dealing with an upset sister who's known to get emotional at simple things. Imagine losing priceless, irreplaceable photos. <laughs> Jeez. <Only Jake. laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Literally at the end of all of this, I'm like, what's this? I'm like, <laughs> it wasn't, that's the thing, it's like, ah. Uh. Now this is the Atomos drive sled for two and a half inch SATA drives. It's not meant for computers like the sense we're about to use it, but it's nothing more than a hot swap drive um, that has a sled that's designed to go into the Atomos, but this will work with any drive. And as you can see, it has the sockets and slots and all you need. There's nothing to actually mount this down, so you don't wanna lift it up and break it. If you've never broken one of these tabs, these are extremely brittle plastic. So you just slide it in like so, and then it terminates to a USB 3.0. And this one right here is actually for supplemental power. So you have USB 3.0 and a little bit of extra power going through there. So we are gonna plug this in right now, navigate the extremely unnerving contents of my sister-in-law's hard drive. And with these two computers side by side in contrast, it's kind of insane given how far we've come in the last nine years in laptop technology. So there's actually a partition on this drive right here. So we're seeing local disk E and local disk F. It's indexing it right now, but so far we're not getting any sort of capacity to show up. And that worries me a little bit because if this drive is completely corrupted, I don't have the tools necessary to extract the contents from it. Now there are companies and sources out there that you could send a hard drive to and they can recover lost data even from bad sectors. I personally don't have the ability to do that. So if it ends up going that route today, unfortunately I won't be able to show the results of that. So the recovery partition showed up, but the local disk F is still not and What's interesting is the recovery is half full, but what we notice right now is we're sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting, but the drive is not actually turning. Oh wait, yes it is. Something is not right with this drive, which we kind of already expected, right? So we're looking at the performance graph for the drive and you can see it goes up to 100% usage here, or actually it's active time. This drive has probably been completely just it could have been shocked really bad. I mean, there's all kinds of things that could have happened with this. But you see here, read speed, write speed, it's just completely sitting here doing nothing with active time. So I'm thinking this drive might unfortunately be unrecoverable by me anyway. I feel bad though, because I'm trying, I wanna get these photos off of here, but I can't make, I mean, look, I had like a little glimpse of life for a split second there and then stopped. Yeah. That might be why Windows continues to fail to boot because we saw update repair trying, right? An update repair automatically happens if it sees, what, two or three failed boots automatically? Which means this drive could have just been shutting down in the middle of the boot process. I'm gonna make the call. I'm gonna make the call to the sis. Will Jay survive? Well, unfortunately, guys, this is a fail video. They happen every now and then, and I love those videos that have the happy ending where everything worked. But it's not a total loss, because I took the 7200 RPM one terabyte drive, which is a bit of an upgrade from her 250 gig, 5400 5, RPM, geez, numbers hard talking. And I went ahead and put that inside of her system and we are now installing Windows 10, which means now at least this will still work. Hardware wise, there's no problem with this. So at least there's a silver lining because we were able to get uh, a working computer for her once again. But I guess this is a lesson in keeping backups of things that really, really matter to you. Phil, we need to back up our uh, design elements folder on my computer that has like everything we use. <laughs> anyway guys, we're gonna go. I wish this had a happy ending. Unfortunately, now my sister gets to experience what data recovery is like when you send it off to a specialist. So yeah, no idea what that's gonna cost her, but she's not too happy. Lesson learned in backing up your important data. So hopefully next time we can have a happy ending. Not that kind of happy ending, you know what I mean, you know. And we didn't pay for the happy ending this time around, I should have, but.
Don't forget though, speaking of happy endings, we are also doing a huge giveaway right now where I'm giving away a CPU, a motherboard, a memory, graphics card, cooler, all kinds of stuff to give you a huge upgrade to your existing system or to kick your next build off on the right foot. Check the link in the description below if you guys wanna know more about that giveaway. And as always, we will see you guys in the next one. It's over. <laughs> Check the link in the description below if you guys wanna know more about, more about blah, 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 blah. So I just talked to my sis and, nah, I almost dropped a process. No, it's this one. Yeah, I play it like a keyboard.